What's up, you beautiful collectors and Marvel Legend fans? Once again, it's the one and only Optobotomist coming at you with another video review. And today, we're doing things a little bit different. Uh, unfortunately, my computer has decided to die. And from what my friends are saying, basically, it's the CPU, unfortunately. And that is going to take a little bit of um, effort to kind of replace. So I'm trying to do these videos now with, with just me filming them, uh, very, very minimal editing. So <coughs> right now I am <coughs> coughing. Just sinuses are, and allergies are really bad. So I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but no, uh, no editing, no taking. I, I might accidentally pause. If you hear that, it's because I'm used to doing that. People think that I can just film these in one take and that's not the case there's a lot of editing that goes into it but i got this i figured this was a fairly easy one to do uh, i have been trying to get the review of this guy done for a while and for the most part it is done um but it's all on my other computer and uh kind of stuck with it but here we go we're taking a look at the new marvel legends uh 50 years of wolverine uh, two pack with Wolverine as he appeared when he was infected by the brood and then Lalandra and, and you, you don't see a picture of her anywhere but she, she's right there uh, but you got this really nice box here it says Wolverine of course you got that image of Wolverine infected by the brood right here come around the back gorgeous um, kind of like a comic cover this is the original comic cover but I like how they did this and you can recreate that fairly easily as you can see then you got a bit of a read up right here where it says uh, Wolverine and Lalandra, the Empress of the Shi'ar Empire, face a parasitic brood alien, or face the parasitic brood aliens, uh, intent on basically killing the, the, the X-Men. And if memory serves, the way that the storyline went was because of Wolverine's uh, healing factor, he was able to kind of resist it to a degree, and they were able to basically come up with a cure for him, for the most part. Uh, but starting off first with Wolverine, uh, because honestly, I think that Wolverine is going to be... I don't want to say the dud in this, because it's actually really very cool looking. Um, but I think that most people are going to want this set for Lalandra. That's what I wanted it for. Truthfully, I am not going to keep this version of Wolverine... It's a good-looking figure. Uh, reuses a lot of uh, similar parts that we've gotten before, uh, except for the head right here. Uh, oh, and then the, the arms got some remolding there as well. Uh, but I just I just don't have an in interest, really, in this guy. He, he's cool-looking. Don't get me wrong. But for me, it was all about her. Great detail, though, uh, if you come in and take a look. I love that head sculpt. That is wicked. Amazing sculpt work the entire thing and i love the fact that you can actually hinge his mouth open that is super super cool but great detail all the way around you got the nice wrinkles right up there i mean absolutely stellar looking and regardless if you keep the mouth open or closed looks amazing body wise is very similar like i said that will be gotten for uh, a lot of other wolverines uh, i i want to say that these arms are different i don't think i don't i don't collect a lot of marvel legend figures you guys know that i'm very selective with my Marvel Legends, but uh, I want to say that those are new arms right there. Uh, I like the hands here. These hands are done in a gesture that is very similar to what we saw on that kind of comic book looking thing, but you got the adamantium claws coming out there very nicely. You do get some extra hands. You got like this fisted hand. You can see that the, the paintwork on those claws or the, the little nubs right there, it's, it's a little bit lacking, but you have the, the fist right here, and then you have another fist uh, i kind of wish that they they gave us a little bit more like i i like the claws here and i i want to say that most people are probably going to display him in that kind of agony sort of look uh, so these claws work okay but I, I do wish that they gave us some regular fisted ones that had the claws on there as well that would have been nice to see and then the rest of the body again pretty much identical with the thighs the boots everything is basically the same and i know that this color suit is a favorite of a lot of people's i'm not the biggest fan of it uh but i do know that a lot of people really do like this classic 
look for them, which which I dig. Now, uh, for a comparison, this is the other Wolverine that I have in my collection, uh, and I don't remember which one it is, but you can see like a lot of similar elements between the two. Uh, he does have bone claws, though, which, uh, no, those are a little bit warped. Uh, but you can see that basically the exact same sort of figure. He's a little, actually, he looks a little bit shorter. Am I crazy? He does look a little shorter. I don't know, maybe it's just the look of them. But, again, uh, you can see that the arms are a little bit different between these. Uh, I, I'm probably going to get that X-Men 97 version of them. I think that that is probably the best-looking Wolverine that we've ever gotten. I know that Shardimus, I believe, has said that. And I'm probably going to agree with it. This is very close to that Jim, Jim Lee look. But that uh, 97 version of them just looks fantastic. But uh, you have that. So there's your Wolverine figure. And now... The main portion, oh, articulation is all the same. You got the butterfly joint and everything. You got the hinges. All that stuff is basically the same thing. But like I said, for me, it's all about Lilandra. Uh, the, the first time that we've ever gotten her in the Marvel Legends lines, to my knowledge, um, I could be wrong. W what do I know? But I love the way that this figure looks. You got that gorgeous headdress, the uh, nice silver paint through the entire thing. I don't like, I mean... I get it, but the cape is this hard plastic, which, as you can see, kind of covers up this arm, so you kind of have to force that out there to kind of get that arm to move forward. But in terms of a static-looking figure, it looks great. I just, I, I, I kind of wish that this was a little bit more malleable, if that makes sense, just so that, I mean, I guess it is, so I shouldn't complain that much about it, but you can't remove it. It's attached right here, so it is stuck on there. Uh, but there is some nice paint variation. You can kind of see some darker paint throughout there. You got the blue and everything. Looks great. But I, again, I love that headdress. That is an absolutely gorgeous representation of Lilandra. And like all the way down from like the paint applications to her eyes, the lipstick, all that kind of stuff. You got that little section right there showing her uh, headdress coming on her chin. I mean, that looks great. And then again, nice silver paint with a very nice reflective look. You can see you actually got some lines sculpted in there and everything. Got the little um, pin thing right there. But again, like with those lines that are in the headdress, comes down with the rest of the body. Looks fantastic all the way down. And again, I don't know what parts are possibly reused on her, but absolutely fantastic. She does come with her... Let me get this bent here. She does come with her staff. You can see that uh, it has a little bit of a handle right here, but it's kind of like this semi-translucent sort of thing i mean it, it, it's a little bit translucent it's like opaque i guess uh, but you can take that stick that right down there maybe maybe something like that is that where she holds it i, I don't i don't know i don't know there we go something like that get her to to stand there uh she does come with some alternate hands as well uh a saluting hand for saluting poses and then you have another uh, fisted hand that goes on here, which this oh this is this is done up uh, with a, the gripping sort of thing, so you can have her hold her staff as well. So uh, I feel like that I feel like that's not where it's supposed to be. Maybe I'm crazy. I I don't know. I I am pretty crazy, but I don't know. I don't know. But you have her looking absolutely fantastic. I, I'm really quite impressed with that. And then. For the, uh, the comparison with that, it, it only makes sense to bring in the love of her life, the one and only Charles Xavier, which, uh, again, looks fantastic side by side. These guys both look really cool. And it would make sense, you know, that an empress of a whole other empire would uh, fall madly in love with a master of mind control. So, Because <laughs> that's not weird at all. Uh, but... You can see that uh, scale-wise, obviously, he's going to work really well just because the Marvel Legend figures all pretty much scale very well together. In general, very pleased with the set. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned, I really do not have much interest in this Wolverine. Uh, the whole primary point of this set for me was Lilandra, and that's going forward with a lot of these two packs. I, I'm still waiting to get the Wolverine and Sabretooth pack mostly because i want that saber tooth figure so if somebody doesn't want saber tooth and they want to trade me a silver uh a saber tooth for this wolverine hit me up i would i would do that all day long uh but okay let me i'm gonna kiss her uh 
her staff kind of gets in the way, so I'm gonna move that around. There we go, oh, that's a little bit better. But yeah, I, I'm really quite impressed with this set. I think that it turned out great. Um, it, it is like a $50 set though, so I mean, that makes sense because $25 each. I just, I just don't really have much interest in that guy. It's not to say that he's not a great figure. He, he really is. The look on him is spectacular. Uh, I just don't have an interest in that particular storyline very much, so it doesn't really... I don't really need to have a variant of Wolverine like that. So, it is what it is. Uh, but definitely a good set. Well worth uh, adding to your collection if you are collecting Marvel Legend figures. This is definitely one that I would throw inside uh, your display case. So, there you go, guys. There's my look. Uh, I feel like this went faster <laughs> than I uh, anticipated it would. But there's my look at the new 50 Years of Wolverine 2-pack of the Brood Wolverine and Lalandra. If you'd like to add this uh, set to your collection, it is available right now online at places like Big Bad Toy Store. So for that, I will put a link right down there in the video description where you can swing on by and check out availability on this as well as the rest of the wide range of Marvel Legend figures. But beyond that, guys... That's about it. As always, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in and watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to please hit that like button. That little tiny thumbs up really does go a long way towards helping me out. Also, if you're new here and you don't want to miss out on a future review, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And until next time, this is Optibotamus, of course, saying adios, au revoir, and auf Wiedersehen.